A 92-year-old woman who feared she would be trapped in her home by construction calls Fox 2 News for help. It comes after her sidewalk was taken out. In a story you'll see only on Fox 2 News, Kelly Hoskins alerted county leaders who came to the rescue. They tore out the sidewalk and the driveway both all up and down the street. So I don't know how they expect the old people to get out. 92 year old Mary Rogers says it's been frustrating being trapped in her house since the last several hours. As she looks out her front door on Ripper Street, she noticed her sidewalk was gone. I had a doctor's appointment for Wednesday. So when I complained uh, to the street department about not being able to get out because of my doctor's appointment, I thought that somebody in Clayton would take care of it, but they referred me back to the supervisor that's actually supervising this job. So he told me that they would put a plank down for me to get across. Construction crews working on the project put a temporary ramp in front of her home. It led her down a hill, not her driveway, leaving Rogers stranded. So I'm 92 and I'm on a walker and you saw the difficulty that you had. So I don't know how they would expect me to get across that plank to get to the street, to get the car to go to the doctor. They told us yesterday that all the cars had to be moved out of the driveway. So then this morning they came and tore everything out. And then this morning uh, when the supervisor on the job came and talked to me, he told my granddaughter would be eight to 10 days. St. Louis County's Transportation and Public Works said by statement, they have communicated directly to residents and any residents who desires a temporary ramp across a section of an excavated sidewalk will receive one. And the department will also provide assistance to any resident who requested help crossing a ramp. If they're going to put a ramp out there, there needs to be one like at least six foot, eight foot across to go from the driveway all the way to the street. The department said they noticed the ramp in front of Rogers' home was not secured with nails to provide stability. And because Rogers had not yet replied affirmatively to their offer of the structure. After our news crew notified St. Louis County Transportation about Rogers' request, a new ramp was installed in front of her driveway and she was pleased. Reporting in South County, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.